Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies, and this This is is the Deck the Hallmark Hallmark Podcast. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Two episodes, in, back. two episodes in one week. Man. Yeah, man, it must, it must be, it must be Christmas in July, man. I would wager to say that there will be a little bit more energy on this episode than there was on the journey back to Christmas. Episode. Why do you think that would be, Dan? Now, I'm not going to make any excuses for us because I think the journey was ba- great. Journey back to Christmas was, a- was a solid episode, but we were all exhausted. I, I would say a good night's rest, uh, food in the belly, and the love and comfort of a home that you love. <laughs> makes all the trip worthwhile and the energy fresher today. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say we're going to be better this episode. Okay, that was a very long way to get to that. I um, felt good about what I was saying. We did go to Milwaukee. We did record Journey to Christmas, Back to Christmas, and Milwaukee. It was a fun trip, long trip. We're back. We're refreshed. We're ready to go. Good trip, long trip, best trip. Best trip, yeah. Best trip. I will say this, best Kringles. Best Kringle. I mean... No, no doubt about that. No doubt about it. Dude, we went to Racine Danish Kringles in Racine, Wisconsin. I'm rocking the tea. You're rocking the tea I today. love Wisconsin so much. I was like, man, give me that tea. I'm just telling you right now. Sure. They have so many different flavors of Kringles. I wanted them all. We got to taste test some cheesecake Kringle. Oh, man. Oh, boy. And then the brown sugar cinnamon. You like the apple. I, the apple cinnamon. It was like an apple pie in oh a Kringle. It was God. Like I crazy it. good. I got it. I got it. I uh, brought it home. I thought Kringles were just for the holidays. Turns out you need those bad boys year round. What could you think of that's better could. than a 4th of July? Well, I guess 4th of July was yesterday. But a 4th of July apple cinnamon Kringle watching the fireworks go up. Dude, eating some Kringle. So you got your hot dog and French fries. And then afterwards, a Kringle. That's yeah. what I did. Oh it's actually a shame it's kind of gotten the label as a Christmas dessert because it's really, a, I legitimately, it's a, it's a year, it's year a round if thing. You, you can fix that right now if you're listening. If mm-hmm. you will go to Kringle.com. Uh, link in the description. There's actually in our description, there's a link on our webpage, Deck the Hallmark. If you go to DeckTheHallmark.com. Slash Kringle. And, and, and click on the Kringle link in our webpage, you're going to get a discount. That's exactly so right. So may as well do that. Um, but just trust us. It's worth your time. That's Kringle.com. Right. You, could also, we you, up. you could also use promo code Kringle. Yeah, the but it's a mom and pop. It's a mom and pop store, man. All those people have been working there over 20 years. It's, it's crazy. Ridiculous. Um, it was a blast. Guys, how was your 4th of July? It was It was fine. Uh, a lot of fireworks, a lot of explosions. Yeah. Had the fam over. My dogs aren't big on the fireworks. No. Um, makes it hard to go anywhere or really do anything. If you are one of those people that July 10th comes around and you're still shooting off fireworks. Stop it. You're not welcome If here. you're July 6th, you're shooting off fireworks. Stop it. Just stop. There's a, I mean, gosh. I'm surprised that the, the, amount of, hours. the amount of people that were that did the firework displays on July 3rd this year. Yeah. Or when the, well, you were telling me something interesting about days of the week and fireworks and the... Yeah, it's... So it goes back to the gravity <laughs> of the the day of the week. The gravity on Wednesday is a little bit less, so the fireworks go. That's higher. the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You don't know. You don't. Yeah, know science. that's dumb. That's just dumb. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, uh, it has to do with the oxidation. I did bring back some uh, bratwurst from yeah. Musingers in uh, Milwaukee. Had those on the Fourth of July. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. They were good. Oh boy. That with a Kringle. That's yeah. exactly right. We have a tradition. Don't judge me. We eat tacos on the Fourth of July. That's the. Why would anyone judge you for that? Because of the, the ta- gravity? The gravity. Ta- tacos That's- are good for any day. Ta- There's not a bad time to have tacos. Although, I get it. just seems like people are like, like it's, it, you should have a cookout. It's not an we- American That's food. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's time for American. Eat, why don't you eat brats like a good American? That's right. <laughs> That's right. You get it. Um, guys, a couple of other things really quick before we get to Bramble. Bramble. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we would love for you to join our Patreon, patreon.com slash deck the homework. We have a few new tears. Mm. Um, and we will stop crying those tears when you join. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can join for as little as $4. And you can also uh, get access to the Facebook group. Uh, you can have a t shirt sent to you. You can get a ticket to a live show. An exclusive Patreon a, only t shirt. That's right. VIP tickets to a concert. To, relationship to a advice. Relationship advice. So many good things to be had in the Patreon account. That is patreon.com slash deck v hall mark. That's exactly right. And if you just, man, man, maybe you're just like, I'm scrolling through my phone today. I don't got anything to do. Go to that Apple Podcast app, leave us a review, and we will skip to you, Arlo. <laughs> I think we're ready. Boys, are you ready to talk about Bramble House Christmas? Oh, my ready? gosh. Bramble, Bramble House. 
<laughs> Bramble House Christmas originally aired on November 19th, 2017, mm. and it went a little something like this. Willa is a poor mom. Literally, she's poor. Uh, she's also a nurse, and she just inherited $100,000 from a patient she had who passed away. His children found out that their dad left his estate to a random nurse and left them nothing. So they jumped to the natural conclusion that the nurse made him change his will under duress. Willa and her son Scout uh, also get an expense, an all expense paid trip to a B&B called Bramble House. I guess it's going to be a. Bramble House Christmas. To find out whether or not this random nurse is a baddie, uh, Finn goes to stay at Bramble, uh, and, and his desire, his goal, is to get to the bottom of whether or not she is who he thinks that she is. So Finn goes and meets Willa, who is apparently running the check-in desk while Mabel Brable is sleeping. <laughs> Turns out, Finn is the author of Scout's favorite book. Mm. So Finn decides, in order to get close to Willa, he will use Scout as inspiration for his next book. So they spend time together, and Finn asks some very pointed questions about her job and, and her patients, hoping that she will say something about uh, his dad that would give, uh, why would dad give you all the money type of thing you know just standard stuff you tell new people you just met um they're hanging out they're having lots of fun they're building gingerbread houses they're going on carriage rides uh finn finds himself getting closer and closer to this family and he actually uh is like man i'm kind of liking this family i came here to expose them but maybe i'm gonna love them uh we find out that finn's dad disappeared after his 10th birthday and never saw him again Finn teaches Scout and Willa how to ice skate, and Scout then opens up that to, to Finn that he was sick and he was about to die uh, when a new kind of surgery came along, and they, they took a risk, and he is now A-OK. But that, that really caught Finn off guard. This boy, I really like this boy. I really like this family. So Finn begins to put things together and is like, man, this trip was a huge deal for this family. They have a bunch of medical bills, so that's what the money was given to him for. And she tells him, uh, she tells him that Mr. Conrad regretted leaving his kids and just wants to give Scout the life that he always wanted to give his kids. So he's now on, uh, he's now on board with, with what his dad did. Uh, but the sister, Molly, no, she's lying. That is not what she, that's lying. Uh, don't make me come up there and tell her the truth myself. Willa helps Mabel Brable decorate the Bramble house. And, and uh, Mabel is like, man, maybe you should take over Bramble. And she's like, I'm so in on that idea. And then Finn is like, what if I stay too? We could uh, do this together, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but guess who shows up? Molly oh, Scout oh. gives uh, his mom this book that he worked really hard with uh, with Finn and drew the things and and there's crying and all that good stuff but uh oh it's time for Molly to ruin Christmas <laughs> she tells Willow the truth and Will is crushed but Finn runs in and is like no I love you but it's too late Willa yanks Scout out from his bed and is like we're leaving Bramble immediately she won't be taking that job but the, the scout's really upset, and Finn goes to find them, and Willa and Scout, uh, is just, uh, uh, Scout is like, Willa, let me just explain, and he explains, and Molly's like, oh, uh, I, I, I didn't mean to ruin Christmas, and then Willa's like, okay, I guess that's okay, and so Finn apologizes, big time kiss, uh, small time kiss, big time kiss, uh, finally forgives them, they go, and they do the thing, and they spend <laughs> Christmas at Bramble, and that, my friends, was Bramble, Bramble House Christmas! Christmas. Wow. What? We did it. Yeah. We did it, gang. Man, this was a fun one, and I can't wait to talk about it with my boys. Guys, can we tell people the truth? We have four segments on the show? We do have four segments. Can we tell them the truth about what happened? When we this were, is the first, the movie, first movie we've that we ever have all watched, watched together. together. Yep. Now, most of you think we sit around and watch them all together. We've ne None of us, even two of us, have never watched nope. them together. I've no. never watched a, a one with you or you. Nope. I've never watched a movie. Uh, no, I've just been no. making it up this whole <laughs> You're incredibly no, If there was a way time, to do that, <laughs> then I can't believe I don't. No, we watched it all together. And it was a blast. It was really it was a, a lot of fun. Yep. And I, it has really made this, taking this to a new level for me. We were all wrapped up in our blankets. Yes, we were. Drinking our sodas. Yes, we were. Neither protein confirm shakes. nor deny there was a blanket involved. Yes. Dan was wrapped in the fluffiest blanket. <laughs> it was awesome. Mm. Um, but we do have four segments on this show, and we always start with the hot take. Hot and take. I always start with my friend Panda. Panda, hi, buddy. Hey, Bran. Hi. What'd you think of this film, dude? Let me tell you about this film. 
I really liked it a lot. Yeah. Uh, and here's why. It felt like a throwback to old school Hallmark movies. Mm -hmm. Like they pile it on thick. There's a lot of emotion. Every scene, they're going for the gusto. Like they are going for ultimate uh, tear jerk reactions, and uh, they are they bring the heat. They bring the heat. Uh, they bring the heat. There's they, no doubt it, about there that. There is a lot that happens in this film. Uh, big fan. Uh, it was big. Big fan, big taste. Big, big taste. taste. Um, man, did I love this movie. Uh, you it, were cheering during I the movie. I was cheering. I was crying. Uh, there was so much about this film that I just adored. Uh, this is one of those movies where when I sit down and watch a Hallmark Christmas movie, I want them all to do what this one did for me. It has all of your it hits. It has all of my it's hits. It's got the, the traditions. It's got mm. the music. It's got the cookies. Yes. It is. It's awesome. It's got everything It's got a want. sick child. I mean, what more can he want? Although I didn't know what he was sick from for a while. I, I just, like, they kind of alluded to he was yeah. sick. Yeah, and that's really all I want. I don't want too many details because I don't want to get too down. Bad haircut yeah. aside <laughs> His haircut was, was awesome. It was weird. It was like he no, had a comb he, over as a nine-year-old. Yeah, it wasn't great. Somebody needs to work on that. But <laughs> anyway, sorry. I love this movie, and I want to watch it again right now. Wow. Yeah, in fact, we finished, and you said, can we just watch these movies all day long? Just keep That's going. exactly what you I said. I deleted it off the DVR probably, That's right. but yep. you know. <laughs> Guys, um, what do you do, man? Like, there's, it feels bad to say bad things about this movie because mm -hmm. it's so earnest, and it throws everything at you. Like, Everyone's got a backstory that's sad. It is very serious to start off with. Um, it's of the Hallmark movies. It's not bad. Like it was easily went more quicker, more quickly than than a lot of the other ones you did. Think it was because we watched it together. I think it was because we watched it together, Friendship. and also because it, it was it was probably just better than a lot of the other ones. Um, I would probably retitle it a "Don't Say What You Mean Christmas." <laughs> yeah, like you, like if they just would say the things that they mean. The movie's like 10 minutes long, max. Like, I've never seen... This movie is the worst offender at just layering on, like, lies and reasons to not say the thing that you want to say. Sure. Like, for everyone involved. Isn't that what Christmas is, though? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I haven't so. said what I've meant It's like cookies and not saying what you mean. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was saccharine sweet and tons of big emotions I have a all the feels uh, contribution on a positive and a negative. Um, it does elicit a lot of feels. Everyone you feel, like, literally everyone in the movie is their worst self. Like, like my my husband ran away and I'm and I'm raising my sick kid and not following my dreams. Our dad left us when he was ten. Uh -huh. I play the town Santa and uh -huh. have been in love for twenty years with a woman. I'm limping and I don't know why. Like, like everyone is their worst. Like it's just bad for everyone, and so you it, it does give you this like it pulls you along and goes we're gonna fix everybody, and so that's admirable for this type of movie. So, I yeah I I, I mean having said all that, you like it's it. probably top five for you me like of it. all time of all the homework yeah. ones. I've seen. It's Bramble, 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 Bramble. Bramble. It, it is a movie they that had just, Mabel Bramble. May, yeah. Now I, 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 I do have a lot of questions said, about Mabel Bramble. My name is Mabel Bramble. Said, I may have said Mabel Bramble a couple hey, times. Mabel Bramble. Mabel Bramble. Literally, if you're like making this movie, okay, the Bramble, Bramble, the Bramble, the Bramble lady. We can name her anything. Let's just make sure what doesn't. About end, Susie. What, what? Let's make sure doesn't end with an O. What like, about can Jane? we do that? Uh, Mabel. How about Mabel? How about, Mabel? <laughs> how about Gable? Uh, Gable Bramble. Gable Mabel Bramble. Gable Bramble. <laughs> how about Jamble? Jamble, Jamble Bramble. <laughs> oh, Bramble Black Betty. Jamble Bramble. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, it, it does have so many cliches, but there is a lot of good feels in it. Um, you know, and we do have another classic kid that loves to read too much, which is a great, I love him. I, I, mean, I know that kid. Yeah. Hey, we 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 are on vacation to get away. Yeah, can you stop reading. reading for once in your um, life, um, guys? You you've talked a little bit about feels, and I'd like to mm. talk a little bit more about them because we have a segment called "All the Feels" where we share our feels. Um, I'll go first. One, I think we can all agree this is a this is easy. Bramble. The Bramble House. <laughs> Beautiful house. Beautiful. The Christmas decorations, yeah. everything. Love What's that amazing house. is Mabel Bramble at one point says that it's not even Christmassy yet. And I was like, what? So I think they did this on purpose. I'm not with you on the Bramble House till the end. Um, 
It's oh all white gosh. lights. And I don't like that. You got to you got to mix it up. I'm oh, you really like to guy. make it trashy, do you? Yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> I don't want just white lights. I think that's way too classy for Christmas. I think Christmas should be like down home and comfortable and not feel like you're going to break stuff. And I do feel like I did it on purpose. Like Mabel Bramble is just like in the box and everything. And then when uh, Willow or Willa, not Willow, starts taking over, then it starts becoming a little bit more homey. Yeah. Uh, and I have three other all the feels, but yeah. I don't want to take them all. Go for it. So, care. Panda, I want you to go. I, if you do not get any feels from the fact that there is this son who is learning secondhand yeah, about yeah, his yeah, dad's yeah, yeah, yeah. love for him and yeah, sister, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah. that just hits me. Yeah. I mean, it really does. And yeah. the very fact that he gets choked up. I think the best scene that showed me that was when he is drawing the sketches for the little boy and the yeah. little boy shares about that. And you can tell that in the scene and yeah. it, it's for the most part well done the the guy starts getting a little choked up and then has it tries to divert his attention to drawing more sketches that's a great scene like that it, it just is it gave, it, it hit me yeah. uh, I, I know that's low hanging fruit but man it's there in the face look, I, this whole movie's low hanging fruit <laughs> yeah, that's really exactly is. the best and worst thing you can say about it is it is low hanging fruit i you know i my dad's my hero. Like I'm a big fan of my dad. He was there my whole life and he's, he's just awesome and amazing. And so anything with a father son relationship in it works for me because I'm just so happy to have been raised by who yeah. I was raised by. So that is 100% accurate, but I, my, all the feels is twofold. One is like all the feels one is angry. And the, all the feels is all of these moments where a dad, like you get to try to, you know, make up for the fact that he was gone and you get to experience all this again. And this guy who's grown up is trying to, you know, bring the fact together that his dad wasn't around and, 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 and reconcile that with this new kid in his life. And he has a chance to be this pseudo father, which is weird, but all of that really works, but it really did make me angry. Like, let's just be very clear. Like Conrad was a bad father. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And they try to deify this guy in this and movie. And bring him some sort of redemption. And, yeah. And it angers me to no end that that last, it's towards the end of the movie, Willa gives this big thing about how you're, everything your dad did, he did for you. No. No, that's a lie. He left you when he was when you were 10 years old. And never saw and you never again. never came back. Never saw you again. Yeah. Like, how are we going to try to make that okay? Yeah, that is one of my wait what's was just this movie makes leaving your kids at Christmas seem okay. Yeah, and, yeah. and I would advise against <laughs> I would it. say don't leave your children ever, ever, but definitely not Christmas. Yeah, and so that was a little bit of a like, I was just like, man, you can't have this both ways. And so it did bother me. I get, I, yeah, I, it's a, it's a tricky thing because I totally get this guy uh, leaves his kids, makes a mistake, and he's at the toward his tail end of his life. And he wants to fix it. And he wants yeah. to fix it, and he doesn't know how. That part of it is really great, Works. but I don't think they quite stuck the landing on how no. to uh, no. how to portray that. I mean, there are consequences that, yeah. for action. So well, you and, could say, hey, your dad wasn't a good father, and he did he was selfish when he was younger. But not, like on his dying in his dying days, he realized that you were everything and he wanted to make it right. Yeah. Like that's the way to think I could, I could write that for you. Right. Yeah. Like, that's easy. But the problem is Hallmark can't stand anybody ambiguity. being bad. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they just, they, you can't have that. No. Yeah. And, and, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Still work. Um, just the, so just a couple things. One, at one point he's looking through the injection. Uh, is that what it's called? Injunction. Injunction. injunction not the injection. Injection. No Ow! one. No one was going to inject anyone. I just want to be very. Uh, well, clear. there was a lot of surgeries in this movie, so it's hard to say. Um, <laughs> the uh, he was looking through the injunction, and somehow there was a Christmas ornament from when he was a kid. Not sure how it got there. Not really sure why. But on that the could back, be our whole way. On, the, on the back of it, it said like uh, to to my dad, "I love you," whatever, and he signed his name. And he was really taken aback by that, and it kind of made me tear up. And I don't know why. Um, and then also on the on the on the tail end, when um, Scout gives Willow the that, book, that the was cartoon the cartoon book, the single best scene of the movie for me. Yeah, gave the cartoon book, and it gave me it gave me uh, yeah. gave me real good feels. Yeah. Grizzly, one day you're gonna give me a gift, and I promise you, I will cry. Easy. I'm already crying. Think about it. <laughs> you're gonna make it, buddy. I love you, son. We're here for you. I love you, son. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Guys, it's uh, it's time for the wait what, but before we do, just a reminder. Uh, you might be watching this right now. You see the little little banner down there that talks about Kringles, and you're, and you're oh. trying to decide, should I go buy a Kringle? The answer is yes. 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 So click on the link that's in the description. Buy some Kringles and know, and know that you're you're not only uh, buying yummy yummy goods, but you're helping out you're helping out the our good friends over there at the Kringle.com. So it's a brother and sister that run the whole operation. We went to the factory. Everybody, you meet Diane at the front desk. She's been there over 20 years. Dom takes us through the factory. He's been there 20 years. Doug, who's given us a flavor test, telling about all these different flavors, 20 years. Teresa has been icing Kringles for 27 years. Ken has his office down there. He's been there almost 30 years. Almost 30 years. Their parents bought the thing. They have run it. This is what you want in a Kringle. From every single aspect of this Kringle is made with love and made by hand. Yep. Are there machines back there? Yeah, but they don't make the Kringle. Every single and we found out there are five Kringle factories in Racine, Wisconsin. This is the only one like it. It's yep. The only one where at every single stage of the process, they're not they're not machine icing these Kringles. Mm-mm. No, hand. There, there's a woman dipping her hand in icing and icing with a glove, with, with a glove, glove, with a glove, glove, with a glove, and <laughs> icing the Kringles. It's as real deal as it gets. You have to try one of these Kringles. Yeah, do it. Please, just do it. You can go, click the link or you can go to Kringle.com and use the promo code Kringle, Kringle. for 10% off your order. Mm. Um, guys, you want to talk about the Wait What's? I wish you I would. I would love to. So Wait What is where we talk about when this movie made us go. Wait, what? Oh. And I'm going to start with you, Panda. Panda, what you got? Uh, this entire movie moves one scene to another where people say overly invasive questions or yes. ask overly invasive questions and then are like, did I go too far at some point? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yes, you went yes. too far. Yeah. It's really weird. Like, yes. it's a really weird bit. Uh, every scene, somebody walks in and is like, oh, so, hey, it's really great seeing you. Uh, who's giving you all the money to get on this vacation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you here? <laughs> Why? Who? How? I need answers. And then, yeah. like, you see a light come down and yeah. like a detective. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it's a weird bit, and uh, it's not just the 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 male. It's not just a fin. No, everybody does this in the movie. Everyone asks too many questions and offers too much information <laughs> for sure. And then they're like, "Did it's the I bram- say too it's much?" The bramble way, baby. <laughs> it's the like bram- bramble way. <laughs> 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 the, <laughs> that's a so great if bit. Finn takes over, is he the bramble man? Back, baby, bramble, bramble man. man. I love that bit. Uh, Scout becomes the Bramble Boy. Bramble Boy. It's not old for me anyway. I'll tell you when it gets that way. Though. So if they make jam there. Ah, Bramble Jam. Bramble Jam. <laughs> what if they make cans of Bramble Jam? Bramble Can. Bramble Can. The Bramble Can. Bramble Can. Bramble Jam. Bramble Can. Bramble Jam. Uh, hi, I'm Mabel Randall. <laughs> what if? Uh, what if? <laughs> hi, I'm Mabel Randall. This is my Bramble Can Bramble Jam. <laughs> hey, I'm Santa Ken, and I'm the Br- Bramble Jam uh, delivery. Bramble man. Santa. <laughs> Br- <laughs> delivery. Bramble Santa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's not going to get old. Uh, here's the deal. Here's my question about the mom. She comes on in, and within just the first night being there, she's decorating the house. Yeah, she she hasn't met this lady. She really does. She's putting up garland. She's like, you know what would look good? I think anytime you start decorating somebody else's place, you're just asking for people to ask intrusive questions. Yeah, in return. Yeah, yeah. I can it's like, t- oh, yeah. you clearly have no boundaries. Yeah, I can tell you why nobody wants to hire her. She keeps doing stuff that's not her job. <laughs> <laughs> like that's pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, it's a we- it's a weird bit. I mean, it's just it's it's kind of strange. So, uh, also just one final scene that made it kind of weird for me they're meeting santa claus the boy goes and he's he's sitting on santa not ken that's okay. ken santa but like they're at the actual santa place and the santa uh, place you the know santa the one. place there's a long line the forming North of kids Pole. who want to go see santa <laughs> welcome to santa place <laughs> there's the only place you can see the santa <laughs> we got kicked out of the north pole <laughs> so we what should we call it santa, santa place tm <laughs> they're there having a conversation the the you know, the mom and Finn and the little boy comes running on up and then Santa just casually strolls on over. He's like, Hey, what you talking about? <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, and there's hey, a long line of people jam? forming waiting and he's like, fist pound it. Yep. It's just, it's a weird <laughs> thing. <laughs> did, did someone say Bramble Jam? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it's a great scene. I don't know why Santa's just feeling casual strolling around. Maybe Man, all like, Santas doing? are attracted to Mabel Bramble. Yeah. And they know that they know Mabel Bramble. And so they're like, hey, can I? Do you know Mabel Bramble? 
Mabel Bramble. Mabel Bramble. Her her Bramble Jam is the best. Bramble Jam. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I have a couple. One, uh, I have a couple, especially related to to skating. Um, so oh, one, yeah. Um, <laughs> our uh, homeboy fan teaches Scout, which very confusing because they both have like little kid names. But Finn is not a little kid. Yeah. Finn's, Finn's a boy. Finn's a B- grown, grown, grown man. Grown man. Yeah. Um, Scout's the boy. So Finn is teaching Scout how to skate. And he he does this thing where he just says, okay, let's go. Pizza, pizza, pie. Uh, pizza, pizza, glide. Pizza, pizza, glide? Yeah. I thought he said French fry. He didn't say that right <laughs> away. This is the quote. I have the quote. Oh, good. Okay, 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 okay. But literally his training, these are the words you used. They were squatting and wiggling. And then <laughs> yeah. he goes, pizza, pizza, glide, French fries. Okay. And okay. I don't know. You like, can see why I would think pizza, pizza pie. But yeah. But, but glide. But later he what goes, is the pizza? What, what, pizza, pizza, glide, glide french, french fry. Fries. But then later he goes, remember pizza, pizza, french fries, <laughs> which is a weird sentence to ever say. Yeah. But also you missed the glide step, I think. You do. Hey, guys, just remember when you go ice skating. Pizza, pizza, French fries. If if there is a like a rule out there, like I would love to understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't totally get what the pizza pizzas meant, what the glide was. I guess I could figure out the glide, but the French fries also confused. Um, and then also, while the ice skating skating rink is beautiful, uh, it's an impractical ice skating rink. Yeah, there's and for, uh, for the main reason that I see is instead of having the house lights on, they have the entire rink surrounded by these like stage lights, right? Which are not not bright. Like right. they're bright, you're gonna be blinded, um, and so I just I don't think that's safe. I think the safer route is to do the overhead lights. You can keep the Christmas trees because that's clearly beautiful. Um, but just the 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 round the round the bend uh, stage lights is just I somebody's gonna somebody's gonna get blinded. The first movie we watched that did this, but there were early on in season one. There's a movie that has like. Christmas trees and park benches in the ice skating rink. And that's the time we all pointed out. Christmas Everlasting. I think it's Christmas Everlasting. And I was like, this is not a safe ice skating rink, nor is it functional. But here's the thing. Hallmark does that all the time with these ice skating rinks. And I've yet to see one that's like that, but I would like to go to one. Because it just it looks great. Yeah. yeah, until you run into the Christmas right. tree. Until you run into somebody's like, my up. artery! Um, got got tangled up into the... Christmas tree lights, and, and then the- I would I would also just say this is uh, uh, our our guy Finn is working on his eleventh. What's the name of the book? Uh, Everyday Sam. Everyday, Everyday Sam. Sam book, um, and yet he there there's just a dead giveaway that there's something wrong here, and it's that he asks a uh, 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 scout if he would be a model for him to draw Sam. Yeah, dude, dude you've made he, 10 he of has them. made ten Bro. of these books without yeah. needing a model, and now he needs now I need a model. Yeah, there might be some uh, things that he's trying to uh, no, get I, that I spent most of the com- the movie just confused at how Willow couldn't put it together. Yeah, come on, Willow, like Willow. Willow whipped my hair back and forth. Not I whipped my hair back and forth. I whipped my hair back and forth. I whipped my hair back and forth. It's a mashup you always wanted. And you never knew. Uh, yeah, Willow just, she is completely turning a blind eye. Yeah. Maybe the Henleys are just distracted. The Henleys do distract. Dude, he's he's wearing some buff he, tight shirts. I will he's say, and Henleys. I said this out loud when we were watching the movie together, and it was great. Uh, he's gotten buffer as the movies went on. Yeah. He started with a little Lucy Goosey shirts, and then by the end of it, it was like, oh, there, there's that body. Black Betty. <laughs> Black Betty. There's that body. <laughs> handsome man. <laughs> Bramble Jam. Handsome man. Bramble Can. So, uh, yeah, just, I, I just, he's, he's 10 books in, man. Like he doesn't need, he doesn't need a model. So maybe, maybe ask more prodding questions. And I, I think that's a great segue because I have a whole Finn section. I, I just don't, I don't know if Finn is just not the brightest or the character just doesn't make much sense. I mean, one, you haven't seen your dad since he's 10 and you thought you would get the money in his will. Like, I don't understand that. You haven't seen like. You haven't seen him in 25 years. No communication. And somehow you're upset that you didn't get any money. Like, you should be expecting no money in the will. At one point, he says that being nosy is part of his job description. As an illustrator, that's so key. Is he an illustrator? Yes. He's an illustrator. He doesn't write them? No, he doesn't. He's not the writer, which they make very clear, which... But apparently on the everyday Why Sam is his picture books, on the back? Why is his picture on the back is actually one of mine. Okay. His picture's on the back of the this book. This whole time I thought, I guess the, I missed it. As the illustrator, that's not a famous thing. Like, that's not a thing that, you know, I, I just don't understand. Um, I'll draw your pictures, but I'm going to need like my he picture is on just, the back. He's insistent <laughs> to watch this 
nine-year-old boy, like in a very creepy, weird way. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've known you for two days. Can I watch your boy? Can I please just... Won't you go leave and I'll and watch I'll, your boy for you? We've got secret things that we've got to get. Like, come on, and man. then when And then when she says... Uh, when she finds out the truth and she's like, you weren't only uh, like fooling me, you were fooling uh, Scout too. And he's like, no, no, I was never fooling. You ne- were, yeah. you were, man, you were. You were. <laughs> but my favorite Finn moment is the back and forth where Willa is telling him that, uh, you know, Conrad gave her the money to pay for the medical. She, you know, uh, Scout had a heart yeah, condition, a, heart, right. yes. a very undisclosed it's a heart condition. It's a, it's an <laughs> undisclosed heart condition. That means you have to rest for two years. Yeah, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but doctor's orders. We do the surgery. Two years are eh, touch and go, and then you're great to whatever yep. you want, um, which was weird to me. Um, and she says he left enough money to pay for Scout's medical bills, $100,000. And Finn just steps up, wind up the pitch for his operation. Nah, no, no, no. For his for his plastic surgery, for his not for his elective smile surgery. Like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, yes, yes. <laughs> For his art opera, what else would it be for? Like, I don't understand. How is that a follow up question to anything ever? Like, I just don't get it. I don't. Um, that, Will- that envelope's not going to fill back up itself. Yeah. Willa hardly gets off the hook. She's like, I can't talk about my patients. Next scene. Let me tell you all about Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. HIPAA violations all over the place. Do no harm, but also don't talk about your patients. Oh, we've got hot chocolate? Well, let me tell you about Conrad. <laughs> let me tell you all about it. One him. thing I know about hot chocolate, it. Loosen slips. <laughs> and those sink ships. You and so we're in a big trouble. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You said it. Um, Finn also, I forgot one more is he's like, at the beginning of the movie, he's the bad guy, right? Like yes. he's overwhelmed with this. I got to go find this Willa. I got to set her straight. She's stealing my pappy's money and I'm going to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he walks in the door of Bramble house, <laughs> sees Willa, thinks that she's Mabel Bramble. Megan Bramble jam and Bramble can. <laughs> and then she says she's Willa. And then literally he is perplexed for 30 seconds. He's like, oh no, she's hot. Oh no. <laughs> Willa's hot. I was not prepared for hot. I didn't even bring my muscle shirts. <laughs> Molly's got to send me my muscle shirts. And he just, he looks I'm like wearing my loosey goosey shirt. This isn't going to do nothing. <laughs> he is staring hard off screen. Just going, I wasn't expecting hot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Willa to be attractive. So now his, it's his, be his wheels are turning. He's like, how can I seduce her while also yeah, that's right. find out the injunction? It's, but it's, man, it's she's hot. How can I, how can I <laughs> serve the injunction and be your man? Yeah. Uh, I, and he did it. He did it. He did it. Uh, but look, go, go back and watch the movie. And it's like, they show her, they show him four different times. And he's just like this. <laughs> 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 I can't take money from someone this attractive. <laughs> Mabel Bramble, bring me a Henley. Uh, I'm going make, to the town, find some tight sweaters. Make it an extra small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Been working on the picks. Um, I've got others that are not important. The Everyday Sam book that he's the kids reading changes three different times. Um, the, nie- <laughs> the the niece of Mabel Bramble. Like just Maybe he's will, rereading the different ones. Sage Bramble. He, she, he says he's on the 11th one. Dang. Sage Bramble is uh, just... She walks out on her job, I don't know, a hundred times and wears the same thing all movie, but that's neither here nor there. That's pretty classic. She also has a random kid who's a redhead named that's Savannah. Right. Yeah, I yeah. just want to point that out. Yeah. Uh, it's time for what the homework part of the show where mm. we wonder maybe what maybe happened. What could have been? That would give us some uh, just closure on this movie. Um, I'll kick us off, and I, I have uh, uh, just uh, one one thing. Maybe two. I don't know. Um, at one point, there's a line, and they say this this line. Um, you never picture your parents as kids at Christmas. And I just want to know what you guys think about your... What Have you ever done that? I, Lizard, I, what? I have. <laughs> I have never once pictured my parents as kids at Christmas. Really? Yeah, and never. I was trying... Yeah, after she said the line, I was like, yeah, I've never done that. Huh. Never. Like, okay. My parents did not have the childhood that I had. So maybe it's just that. Maybe they just, you know... Chata was tougher for both of them, so maybe I just haven't really tried to think it through. Wow, okay. Huh. I mean, I guess maybe I haven't like given it like a, a, a hard thought, but I feel like at one point I've been like, Man, I can't I imagine if- my dad looking any way other than he is, or my mom for that matter. Like I've mm. seen pictures of them yeah, as children, yeah, 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 but I still can't imagine that picture coming to life. Uh-huh, yeah, no, I've can't imagined it. it. Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, so Santa Ken has been coming um, to Bramble. Mabel Bramble, uh, for the last 20 years, mm-hmm. every Christmas. That's right. So 
uh, he lives in Portland. Uh, Santa Ken uh, has a, has had a crush on Mabel Bramble for 20 years. That's right. But also they went to elementary school They went school to elementary together. school together. So I am just interested in more about Santa Ken's life away from the Bramble house in Portland. Did he ever date anybody else? Has he ever been in love with anybody else? Or has that connection that he had with Mabel Bramble as kids held over through his entire life, making him uh, incapable of having feelings for anybody else? What is, is that? What is, is it the like? thing where he turns it on and off? Like he goes to Portland, he forgets. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Like December gets here. He's like, oh, Mabel Bramble. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Mm. Goes How back you in, doing? Goes back into town, has the feelings all over again. Oh, Black Betty, Bramble Man. Bramble <laughs> <laughs> So I just I would like to just know more about San, uh, Santa Ken. Bramble uh, Man's the best one, right? Yeah. Bramble okay. Man. Bramble Man. And uh, just also just that that whole what what has he done for a living for the past twenty years? Where every December he can leave for a month and just play Santa. Lots of questions about Santa Ken. I love him. I love you, Ken. I yeah, love you. I think he's great. Um, he seems to show up in a lot of these movies. But wasn't I he the geology teacher from the? Uh, last Vermont. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. He uh, can pull it off if hey, he was. Hey, Panda, what you got, boy? Uh, a couple questions. First of all, the Christmas book that will be coming out next year of Everyday Sam doesn't yeah. seem like it fits in with the series he as also, a whole. I think he made that up. He, when he's looking, he's like, uh, the uh, Christmas witch would contradict what he said about he never lied to Scout. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to assume and take him as word that Everyday Sam needs a carriage ride. I don't know. It sounds like a terrible book. I have questions about that. I don't think that. he's writing the book. All right. Fair enough. You know, just had to toss it out there. Uh, I also just want to know how much Hallmark thinks a hundred thousand dollars is worth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because yeah. they treat it like millions of dollars yeah. in this. So, I one hundred percent agree with you. But I'm my confusion about that is a little bit bigger. It's where's the rest of the estate? Because early it sounded yeah. like the, the whole estate was given to her, and then later it's confirmed that she was given enough money. To have a holiday and to pay for her medical bills. Yeah, it was a little confusing um, because she said, oh, I got $100,000. Uh, then when the, the the kiddos found out. Uh, uh, to, yeah, Molly and Finn. Molly and Finn. Like, they got, like, the, whole they got the whole estate. I don't recall ever hearing her say no. that she got the estate. Yeah, if she got the estate, $100,000 is not. It's it's like that $50 million picture in Rocky right, Mountain. Right, exactly. Christmas. Like, it doesn't make any sense that 100000 like. That that could go pretty quickly. Yes. Um, well, especially but, especially if you're having a surgery that is a yeah. not a, like this is a new surgery, the trial surgery. Who knows if insurance paid yeah. like had any well, part in that since it's a trial surgery. And that can piggyback to my, one of mine, which is like why is for picky picky piggyback. piggyback my bad piggy piggyback and uh, why is Willa's health care so terrible? She was a caregiver. Yeah. Like every health insurance plan has a max out of pocket, and I've never seen one that's a hundred thousand dollars. So. Usually max out of pockets are ten or twelve thousand dollars at the most, maybe twenty. Yeah, the only thing I can think like, of is that it because the surgery was a trial surgery, health insurance wants nothing they they, they can't touch it. I would and also so it's fully this is out a of pocket. Commentary on her health. System. So it's a full. It's a because that's that's a that's a real you mean deal. You tell me a heart surgery was fully out of pocket. If, well, it's, no a, if it's a trial surgery, did they then, say it was a trial? Yes, surgery? they did. They well, said it was a new, I think it was a new surgery. There's also one thing I think you're forgetting because I I the way I made sense of it was. I think she's a contract worker. She's not working for an industry because as soon as he passes away, she's out yeah. a job. That's not typically how she's, hospice care or caretakers still, work. She was working during his time and she also is required to have health insurance. Like it's a require. It was a requirement when the movie was made in 2017. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, it just got passed. Right? Yeah. My only, my only guess is because it was a trial surgery insurance. Ha- couldn't, yeah. That, couldn't that's touch a, possibility. It. a great answer. No. I've got no issue with that answer. Um, my only other one is just the Mabel character in general. Like not only why neighbor Mabel, but they throw so many red herrings with her and it's dumb. Like I'm worried about her well being. Like, so they, they have her in a cane to begin with, like <laughs> limping around now on Christmas Eve, no cane. I don't know if you noticed that it's a Christmas, Christmas miracle. She asks, uh, Willa to take the job. Willa says, no, there's no cane in that whole scene. Then on Christmas day, the cane is back around her arm. Mm -hmm. Now she also has this weird thing where she fell on her staircase, carrying laundry and she doesn't want anyone to know that. Well, she was also talking on the phone. (laughs) So, but she proceeds to now, if you didn't want anybody to know something and you were going to lie, that's what you decided you were going to do. Wouldn't it behoove you to tell the same lie to everyone? Yes. But instead it's just kind of like, a night at the improv 
for 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 Mabel Bramble. It's like ah, oh, I was, was sledding, I was ice skating. I yeah, was and the funny thing hiking. is, is she does remember the lie that she did tell Willa because she says, "I know that I told you this." So it's not that she's just forgetful. So this is a web of lies. It's a web of lies because I'm sitting here going, "There's either a bigger health problem no, with she Mabel has Bramble, chosen to give a different reason to each person, or she has like all, all early onset Alzheimer's. Maybe she. The third option is she's just bad at lying. Yeah, she's just, and so I just there's no consistent with that character at all and I just was like I was curious I didn't know why that, that was necessary or she's not. also overly angry about dumb stuff very angry yeah 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 like, marshmallows yeah and I don't know if there's I mean it, there was a lot of things that they did not flesh out like the ornament in the back of the injunction like that didn't make any sense yeah. at all but it's still, he, still made me tear he, up is he sorry just, just, is he just carrying it around i got this injunction it's very serious yeah. i'm gonna blah 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 well, my, ini- not hot. my then- initial thought was <laughs> that uh that was her his sister put it in there to make him feel like so i but, thought that too but, but it turns out she's the worst she's yeah. the worst there's no way that was her i don't know why it's in there um yeah so there's some questions there for sure I think we, we did, did it. it we did yeah. it guys um, Christmas in July is happening all month long. We got oh two, two episodes uh, a week, and so we'll be back on Monday. Um, if you're on the if you're in the Patreon community, you're going to get two more episodes than everyone else. Still, though, it's hard it's hard to even uh, fully grasp that. Man, it's unreal. Uh, we're going to be back on Monday, and we're going to be watching Hearts of Christmas. Mm. Heart of Christmas. There's a there's a new young and upcoming actor in that one, uh, Christopher Paloha. Yes. And so we're gonna give Love some uh, Christopher. We're gonna mm. give that flick a watch. I believe it's airing this weekend, so you can uh, check d- it out. DVR that junk. Um, and anything else? Oh, oh, live show. We're coming to a few different places. You go to deckthehomework.com, buy tickets. We would love for you to join us next week in Raleigh or in a couple weeks in New York and LA. Mm, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, anything else? Yeah, there's a Patreon of the week. That's exactly right. Um, there, there are a few people that I enjoy more than reading Jen Bliss's posts. Oh, Jen Bliss, one of a kind. Mm. She is the patron of the week. Yay. Swiss Miss Jen Bliss. Yes, that's exactly right. So some people wonder when you're drinking your hot chocolate around Christmas mm. time or right who now. Who invented that? Who invented Swiss Miss? Jen Bliss, Swiss Miss. Now, how, why is the Swiss Miss different and how did Jen Bliss make it? Different? So Swiss Miss is different because not only do you get to drink it uh, hot, but you can also drink it cold because they have a patented technology that makes chocolate melt in frozen liquid. I think he said patented. I yeah, did. He did. Yeah. I did. But just let. <laughs> but but you knew what I meant, and that's, that's right. the point that's of words. That's the beauty of Swiss Miss. That's the beauty of Jim Bliss. That's exactly right. And, wow. And that's why we say Merry Blissmas. Merry. Oh. Oh, black mind, Jim Bliss. Bliss. It, no, you'll get it. Yeah, Jim Bliss. Bliss Miss. Do it real quick. Oh, 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 Black, Black Betty, Jen Blit, Jim Blit, Jen Bliss, Jim Bliss with Miss, Jim Bliss with Miss. No, it doesn't work. Oh, Black, Black Betty, Jim Bliss with Miss. Oh, Black Betty, Jim Bliss with Miss. Uh, guys, thanks so much for listening, uh, and maybe we be the first to tell you, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.